all right everybody you're welcome to my channel and my name is matthew today i'm going to teach you on how to make house fly lava now house fly lava can be fit to both your poultry bed and to your fish it's a more richer protein it has over 48 percent of protein so it is a more richer feed than even that than your own feed that you are giving to your bed and you agree with me that the local chicken that we used to call the fulani birds the fulani birds are always very big simply because they are feeding on the maggots inside the uh, cattle dung you know that the fulani always raise cattle so they feed on the 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 maggot that is in the cattle dung obviously you can use this ma uh, maggot to actually field your fish and your poultry beds so the maggot is the general or let me say the english word but the agricultural term is actually called lava you know it's a growing process whereby the house fly lay eggs and then it grows to lava then the pooper now when, when i in lava and pooper the protein content is very very high you understand so today i'm going to make in the video i'm going to be teaching you how you can actually grow it from most of the things that are waste maybe waste feed waste feed material the poultry feed, even your rabbit feed, and um, your rabbit, uh, the poultry waste, your rabbit waste, or any other kind of waste. It can even come from, you can even use waste meats, you understand? Maybe kitchen waste or waste products. The things that the lava can feed on, obviously, those are the, those are the things they'll be feeding on. The the the, the is going to lay the egg and it's going to be feeding on those things. And then when they are feeding on those things, the, the, the lava will be growing, which is what we call the maggots. And then when they go to an extent, you're going to feed them to your bed. And you see how they are going to rush it because they love it so much. And it's actually very good for their growth and development. And it helps you to actually reduce your own cost of production. So I'm going to show you how I've been able to do this on my own farm. I have some... Um, chicken that I'm raising for consumption and I actually use this uh, technique to feed them lava which is very rich protein source you understand so that is it so as we make the video today now I have gotten my poultry feed here as you can see these are poultry dungs these are wastes waste from the poultry you can see they are all dry these are poultry dungs we are going to be using this poultry dung to make this uh, lava and the first thing we are going to do is that now that i've gotten the protein dung i'm going to actually wet them and the idea of wetting them with water is to the end that uh, um is to the end that it can attract flies i get it the flies are, are the ones that are going to lay their head on this thing you understand and when they lay their head their head will start growing now there are some there are substances that we also use like concentrate sometimes to enhance the, the the attraction of the flies that will lay the egg on this waste so that when they lay their egg their egg will start hatching and it start growing and that is exactly what we're going to feed to the fish or to the poultry bed now this is soya extracts this is soya extract i think the yoruba call it a soya this is a we soya when they are using it, when they are trying to make best care. You know best care now. I'm, I'm sure my Yoruba people know it. So I actually use this. I put this on on the poultry dung. And the reason why I do is is that this will in enhance the process of the decomposition and it will start smelling the next two to three days from now, which will actually attract those flies now i know that basically when we are trying to grow lava what we're supposed to use is the bsf the black soldier uh hands you understand those ones their lava and their pupa are always bigger than house fly but because currently i don't have the black soldier uh, ant to execute this project i'm currently using the house fly which is not a bad thing actually you can actually do that but don't worry we're going to get the black soldier ant uh, very soon how we're going to propagate them so that you I will show you the difference to show you that their own lava is always bigger than this one that we're currently using so now that we have done this I'm just gonna come here I'm just gonna come here and keep it for uh, the next five days I'm gonna keep this for the five days like this I'm gonna leave it here for the next five days i'm going to leave it here for the next five days come brother come well, let me see it i'm going to leave it here for the next five days and i'll be wetting it with water 
every day for the next five days and after five days five to seven days this is what it's going to look like i want to show you what it's going to look like this one is currently this one is currently seven days old bring it closer this is seven days old lava so i want to show you what it looks like look at it here can you see can you see them can you see can you see them growing can you see them growing yes can you see those warm there can you see them so this is what it looks like after five to seven days so the the worms are now growing as you can see they are inside they are deep 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 inside as you can see so many of them you can, can you see that can you see that can you see the white substance moving can you see there those are the maggots but because this is afternoon they will be trying to enter back into the uh into the the deep inside they always like to hide they don't like to come out so i'm just going to drop a quantity of this into this cake now and i'll go and feed it to my beds so that you see that they love it now more can you see them now can you see them can you see plenty maggot there can you see them moving see them there can you see them can you see them can you see all the maggots there they have all grown so i'll go and feed it to my beds now and you see how the beds are going to start eating them can you see them can you see plenty maggots here look at them so many you see all those white white stuff those are the maggots so the thing is that uh house house fly maggot are not as big as the bsf but like i said i will surely get the bsf <laughs> can you see them now can you see them now can you see the maggot here look at many of them look at those white white stuff soft stars yeah those are the maggot there those are the maggot right there yes those are the maggot there so please have it let's go and feed it to the birds let's go and feed it to the bed I want to show you to show you how much those bed likes it. Okay. Let's give it to the bed now. I want to show you. See how much they will rush it. Catch up it. Look, look at the birds. Look at the birds. You see them rushing to pick them. Can you see? Can you see them picking the the, the, the maggots? Yeah. Okay. So that is it. They start picking the maggots one by one. And this is not just for local chicken, you know. these are broilers. I want you to know these are broilers so that you don't think this is only for your local birds. No, these are broilers. I feed it to the broilers. So, this is how you can simply make your own um, lava, literally feeding the maggots to your birds. And you can also feed it to your, to your, to your fish. If you have a fish farm, you can actually feed this lava to your fish. I'm also going to give it to my turkey because I have turkey and it's very good for the turkey as well. You can see them rushing it. So this is how you can convert your poultry feed and poultry waste, farm waste, kitchen waste, you know, into something useful to generate feed for your birds again. So this is how simple and how easy it is that you can do it from your comfort of your house. You can see them rushing it now. You can see them rushing it now. Yeah, they are literally going to pick each and every of the maggots that is contained in this, uh, in this, uh, in this culture that we did. So, from henceforth, make sure that your, 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 your chicken dung, you are not pouring it away anymore. Your chicken dung are not useless. You can use it to culture worm like this and feed it to your birds again. They are going look at it. They are eating every of the of the worm. They will not let them go. Uh -huh. They will not let them go. 
So it is very easy and very easy, very very easy to do. It's not it's not difficult at all. There's nothing complicated in 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 getting this done. It's not complex at all. It's a very very simple practice that you can use for your birds, your chicken, your turkey, your uh, guinea fowl, your fish. You know, if you have a fish pond, this can actually reduce your cost of production and supply very good quality protein to your to your to your best look at since since they have brought this uh maggot to them they are still eating it that's to show you that they love it you know and even though they are not local birds yet they are still eating it very well you know so that is how good it is continue continue i want to see how they are eating it see how they love it see how they are enjoying it yes Look at another one. Look at the yeah. look at the worm. Look at them. Look at them. Plenty of them. Plenty of them. And they all came from the poultry wastes. And that uh, uh, soya residue that I used to culture them. So many of them that the birds have to eat. Plenty of them. So these are I give it to them. You know. So henceforth, your poultry waste is no longer a waste. Can you see? Your poultry waste is no longer a waste. This is the purpose of this video to show you that from today you don't have to be wasting your poultry tongues anymore. It's now something that you can use to generate food for them again and again. It's something that used to generate food for them again and again. So you can see that your poultry waste is useful. It's very very worth. It's very very useful. It's still very useful. It's not to be wasted. It's never, never, never. To be So that's how they will be eating it every day and there's plenty, plenty of them. There is plenty maggot for them to eat. You understand? And you can even do it on a larger scale to produce more maggot for the birds to eat. So now you know that your poultry, your poultry waste is no longer a waste. You understand? We went from something like this, containing both the poultry uh, waste and the rabbit waste and the soya extract which this one we just made it nearly today and when it is five to seven days we'll have something like this and this one the there's enough maggot in it already can you see so you can feed this to your bed you can feed this to your you can feed this to your bed you can feed this to your fish and it is produced 100 percent free now the good thing is that when you are still trying to process this one by the time it is two days from now the decomposition will have started it will be smelling and the smell will be the one to attract the house fly so that means you are going to put it in a cool dry place where is where there is no sun because the sun ray will affect what we are trying to achieve you understand so you are going to put it in a cooler place under a shade and you're going to be wetting it so that it will be cool because it's a cool environment where the decomposition can actually take place successfully you understand the other thing you can add to this is that if you probably slaughter your poultry and all the intestine that you waste away and you pour away you can put it here the maggots are going to hit them and you need to go and it will help you to produce even much more maggots you understand so for the next two days i'm going to leave this open so that the house fly can come and lay their eggs here and when the eggs hatch it will be eaten on all that we have put here to go into lava and into pupa and then to adults you understand but before we get, they get to adults we're going to feed them to our beds so that's how the cycle continues with this if you are raising poultry for commercial for uh, personal consumption like i do you can actually use this to reduce your cost of production while your bread will still be growing very big 
and verify. I hope you have learned something from this video today. If you have any question, do it to drop the question in the in the comment section. I will surely come and answer your question. And if you love this video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching my video. Until next time, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.